Hello everyone, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again for a new episode on how to. Check it out my latest uh, trailer on the Ultimate Elementor Pro Landing Pages Toolkit. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. The more you like and share my videos, the more videos I can do. Don't forget to uh, check out Elementor's website for the latest news and updates on the actual plugin. I would like to remind you that uh, this tutorial has been uh, brought to you from Elementor. Right, don't forget for the Elementor Pro to synchronize your library to ensure that you're going to have the entire library of the Pro and the latest templates and landing pages. Now, without any delay, let's start the tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to get particles on your web page. To do so is quite simple. All you need to do is install a plugin, a free one, and, and I'll show you how to add some codes. Alright, let's go to the actual plugin page. And at the end, you can see Particle JS background uh, plugin. Let me open a new tab and if you head to github.com to ingenious web forward slash particle uh, js wp plugin and download the zip file save it to you to your desktop then press add new upload plugin then choose file here we go this particle uh, js wp plugin master press open and click on install now uh, i already got installed i will skip this procedure Now, if I go to the actual plugin, you can see the actual code that is already there for the the one that you can see here. Uh, of course, we go to the uh, you know we go to remove it, and we go to paste the new code. So, how do you get the new code? It's quite simple. By the way, this is the actual uh, URL. I'll make sure that the URL will be also in the description below. But here you can actually find the uh, particle generator that is on vinceguaro.com particle js of course i'll link the url on the description below here you can uh, start to uh, edit your particles with the colors of course you can do as you wish any color you want any background color any particles you can change the value, the size, everything. There also are pre-made templates. So after you have decided how you want to do it, as you can see here, there are the default plus other templates. Once you are happy with that, all you got to do is to download the JSON file. So we're going to swap that. I will let me close these tabs for now. So I'm going to add to the folder where I'm going to open up with my text editor. Right, once it's been opened, I'm going to copy and paste the code. So I'm going to select all right click and copy and I'm going back to the web page plugin so now we're going to select this text here and I'm going to paste so once it's been pasted I'm going to save it all right now let's start to uh, create a new page I'm going to call it particles then I'm going to choose the template as a blank and I'm going to click publish. Once done, I'm going to edit with the Elementor. All 
I'm going to open a blank page so you can see the uh, development. Waiting to Elementor to load. Once it's been loaded, I'm going to add a new section. One column. Click on section. I'm going to stretch it. And the width is going to be full width. The height is going to be f uh, fit to the screen. Then I'm going to advanced. Now make sure that the CSS ID is called particles or whatever name you want. But if you do change the name from particle to something else, then you need to know where to change the actual name. Once it's been done, I'm going to save it. I'm going to add a text in the middle just uh, to show up the difference. Let's call it the uh, particle tests or testing particles. And I'm going to center it and I'm going to save it. Let me refresh. As you can see here, the actual testing particles text is being shown in the middle of the page. I'm going back. Let's uh, let's tell you what. Uh, let's go to advanced. As you can see, I make sure that is nothing there, because it only got to be in the section part of it, not in the text. So make sure is the actual context there in the actual section, not in the text. Go back to the page. I'm going to refresh it, and here we go. We got the particles. Right. I'm going to close a little bit this one. I'm going to copy and paste on the new code. I got several ones pre-made. Here, as you can see, the value is FFF. So make sure that the background is not white for this value here. So make sure that the way you do it is exactly. You know, the actual value of the background is for the website. Otherwise, it won't show up. Let me show you what I'm talking about now. Now, if I copy this one here, sorry, if I remove this one here and I'm going to paste the one I just copied, here we go. I'm going to save it. If I go back, I'm going to refresh it. As you can see, nothing there. Now, if I go to Pages, and I'm going to Particles and Edit with Elementor, Here we go, let's open the Elementor. Under the Advanced tab, don't forget under the CSS ID to add particles. The actual class R ID, CSS, CSS ID. Now we're going to change the background to uh, gray. Go back, refresh. And as you can see, because it's white, FFFF, now it shows it, show, you know, it's showing up, all right? Okay, now let's start to do something a little bit different. What about instead of a color, we're going to add a image. I'm going to press on the white color here and then I'm going to click on add image. And I'm going to use my image. I'm going to insert media. I'm going to save it. I'm changing the color of the text to black to make sure it shows up a little bit. Save it again and I'm going to refresh the actual page, particles. Now as you can see, the actual particles are there. Although there is a little gap there on the right, let's fix that by going to the uh, edit heading. Then I'm going to style, make sure the position is center center. And what you want to make sure that the actual size is covered, so it will cover the entire page. Let's save, and let's go back to the page particles, refresh it, and now it should be full size image with the actual particles. Here we go. We're done for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and share my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, so I can do more videos. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.